Hey everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. And we're Goober Media Productions. Been a little while since we've been online together with a review. Yes, been very busy. <laughs> Exceptionally busy. Yes. We snuck up a few product reviews, make sure you check them out. But we haven't done our monthly subscription mm -hmm. boxes in almost two months. Yeah. So we're trying to get caught up. What we're going to do now is December's all in one video. Yeah. Marvel Collectors Corp, Loot Crate, and the Horror Block. And we'll follow it up with January's crates, which no Collectors Corp, but we got the Smuggler's Bounty. Yay! My favorite. <laughs> I'm really excited to see uh, the Marvel Collector Corps for this month. It's Guardians of the Galaxy, so let's get into it. Uh, this month's box is freaking huge. I don't know if you can actually see the size, but it's about double the size. So there's got to be one of those, um, the bigger size Funko Pops Hoping this month. Yeah. So let's check it out. I don't get out. any of the cool ones to end up over there. <laughs> Gonna have to get two of each of those over there. Yeah. See, it is Guardians of the Galaxy. As always. And got the pins. Okay, so our patch for this month is Rocket Raccoon. And it says Collector Corpse. That's really cute. And we've got your yeah, Scroot for the pin. Aww. Okay, so we've got our comic on top. They're hiding something. I see something good. Ooh, so we've got a pops. little uh, comic. Oh. And let's see, what do we got here? Wow, wow, wow. Let's start with this. It looks like a scarf. Oh my goodness, it's a marble scarf. And it's got all the guardians. And it, oh, it's got Groot. That's so cute. I actually have Groot socks too from a loot crate we got, so I'm gonna be in full. That's nice. That's really nice, yeah. Won't get a lot of use of it. Yeah. Actually, it's gonna be perfect for a uh, holiday Matsuri this weekend. Mm hmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it is. Star Lord ceramic mug. So let's look and see. And it is, it's Star Lord. It's really cool. Okay, and we've got a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Bubbles, and this is a Marvel Collector Corps exclusive, and it comes with Rocket and Groot. And Let's they're see. set up for the holidays, it yes. looks like. Okay, so, oh, and they're actually ornaments. Really? Oh, really cute. Little ornaments. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon, super cute. I'm so happy I don't have any Rocket Raccoons, so really happy. And it's, it's a really cute keychain. This is probably going to go on my purse or something. Another great crate. Um, yeah, there seems to be a lot of stuff in it. Scarf is nice. Yeah, it is. It's actually really high quality. I really like this. I'm more of a regular Funko Pop kind of guy. I mean, it's it's a nice take on it. Um, between the, with the pocket ones they had last time, that one that, that you had at Venom was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a neat neat little thing. I mean, you can still put them on your desk, obviously, if you yeah. don't have it. You know, for a Christmas tree, so you can still display it all year. Uh, pretty neat mug, you know. It's all right. I think it's going to be more of a display than drinking out of it, but who knows? It says you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking milk and eating cookies out of that thing. That's perfect. Perfect cookie mug. You know, Marvels just continues to to surprise me actually. So mm -hmm. I, I think I sound more disappointed than I really am. I think it's a great crate. They do put some effort into making things unique, you know, especially for their crate. So it's cool. I wouldn't have thought of, you know, see a pop branded mug and, and, yeah. and the trees. You know, there's just some really neat stuff that they're coming out with. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. I am. Yeah, I really like it too. Uh, it felt like a Christmas gift from Marvel. That's what it felt like. 
So that, that was pretty cool. That was a really great collector course. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite subscription boxes. Uh, next up we have Loot Crate. Uh, the theme for December was Galaxy. Galaxy. Uh, I think it kind of coincided with uh, the new Star Wars coming out. Um, and they had the limited edition Star Wars Loot Crate, which we did mm -hmm. a review of that. Yeah, it was really cool. That really cool. Huge. Yes. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what is in December's Loot Crate. So let's get into it. Okay, this month's theme is Galaxy. Awesome. So we've got a cool shirt and looks like a space themed box. Kind of looks like Metroid or something. It kind of looks like Space Invaders or something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. Either that or it's like Missile Command or something. Oh, that's really cool. It kind of looks like a holiday. It's like a sweater, knit sweater. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's a t-shirt. Yeah. Mars Rover? Yeah, yeah. It's got the it's Mars like, Rover. It's got the Mars Rover, it's really cute. Got some spaceships. Living in Florida, we're all about the spaceships. Like, we can literally hear them when they go off from the Kennedy Center. Yeah, too bad they don't go anymore. Yeah. Looks like okay, a tin so, of some kind. Yes, we've got a Halo uh, United Nations Space Command tin. Right on the back, I see it comes with an Xbox One. Halo 5 Guardians um, Supply Pack. So it has the little code. Yeah, this is a really cool tin. It's a lock common. It's up like an ammunition box. Yeah. Just like this one. <gasps> oh, it's so cool. And everything's in it. And we've got a Star Wars Funko Pop. And of course, it's Han Solo. And his snow gear, Loot Crate exclusive. So this is um, from The Force Awakens, and they did make him look older. <laughs> That's funny. Add that to our Han yeah. collection. I guess the original one they retired. Yeah. Somebody sent one on eBay for 130. Um, and we've got BB-8 socks. These are really cute. And these are Loot Crate exclusives. I know that on um, Loot Crate they do that, um, I think it's like a power up. Yeah, level for, up. Yeah, level up where you get um, socks and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Socks, different yeah. levels of apparel, there's you know, t shirts, accessories. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've got, of course, the pin. This one's gold Loot Crate December 2015 Galaxy. Do the close ups of everything. And Galaxy Quest Emblem Patch. Hmm. That movie, that's an older movie with uh, Tim Allen. Yeah. Thank you. This is a really neat tin. Oh, that's cool. And it's got Saturn. I love Saturn. So that's really cool. It's a cool tin. Yeah. Looters showing off some of their favorite gear. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Coming soon. Look at this. You demanded it. We listened. Every crate in 2016 will include a t-shirt. <laughs> Very cool. So you don't have to get the uh, the level up to do it. Yeah. This is really neat. Good stuff in there. Okay. Pretty cool crate. Yeah. You know, obviously Funko Pops are one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. The exclusives are always good. We're both t-shirt fans that's yeah. that's no uh, big surprise yeah, or really, secret i really like this patch i'll definitely use it and i like the socks and i like the tin so i thought, I thought it was a pretty good crate yeah good job yeah sometimes i'm left disappointed and sometimes i'm over exuberant about it but this is this was a good crate yeah i think it's um we've got the the 2.0 rogues and what is it rogues and Rebels and Rogues. Rebels and Rogues. We've talking. got yeah, we've got the Rebels and Rogues sitting under here, which is like three times the size of this little crate. So I think we're just excited to open that up. So uh, we'll put the link to the uh, the opening of that as well in the description. Yep. 
So uh, next up we've got the horror crate for December. Um, so we can uh, start getting into that one as well. Alright, next up we have December's horror block. If I remember correctly, this had uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was oh, one yeah. of them because mm. I was all excited about uh, November's crate, yeah. how it had a card about Freddy Krueger, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street stuff in here. And I believe it's The Walking Dead is in mm. this one as well. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to get into it because it's been sitting yeah. here for almost two months. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So let's get into it. Okay. All right. Someday something's going to pop out of this. <laughs> okay. Let's, oh, let's sure. see here. That's what she looks like inside. Blood red as always. Yep. And I see Freddy Krueger. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got. Yep. From Shirt Punch. That's really cool. Freddy Krueger. Is there a bug on it? So we've got, it looks like a collection of villains from yeah. other movies. The Scream villain, obviously Freddy Krueger. I believe this was Shocker. Um, there's a crypt here. Leatherface. I believe so. And this was that bald guy that played in The Hills Have Eyes. He was always the creepy guy. Yeah. Can't remember who that was. But, yeah. That's cool. Like cool shirt. Cool shirt. There was a bug on it. But was it in there the whole time? I think so. Holy cow, it came with a bug from Canada. <laughs> Ours came with a free bug from yeah. Canada. <laughs> okay, and we've got a Freddy Krueger doll. I still have my Chucky doll actually right here. We've got the plushy collection forming. <laughs> this is cute. Ugh. That's really cool. And this is from Bleacher's Creatures. Put your passion in play. So it's cool. It's kind of like a collectible plushie. That's cute. I like that. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. That's cool. Okay. Uh, underneath we've got this print of Cthulhu and Godzilla. And this is freaking awesome. I really like this. I'm definitely going to put that in my bedroom. It's really cool. Mm. Line box. I haven't touched. And that's really cool. I can't tell. It's going to be so zombie cool. Hula it's a girl. zombie hula girl. I was just thinking I wanted to get like a the hula girl for my car. So let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. And this is a Horror Block exclusive as well. And we'll get some up close shots of that. It's really cute. Definitely gonna put that in my car. I keep not touching that because I know how much you like <laughs> and I, keep, I, I figured I know. you'd jump all over when you saw it. You pushed uh, me out of the way to get into the box. Yes, it's a pocket pop keychain of Daryl Dixon. Another Horror Block exclusive. He has, like, Walking Dead. Yeah, he has blood splatter on him, so I'm guessing that's what makes it an exclusive. Um, and it's it's adorable, and I will be putting it on my keychain. Good Very stuff cool. there. And this is the uh -huh, of course the cheat sheet that tells mm. us everything that's in here. All right. One block and more. Oh, Carrie! Uh -huh. January's horror contains Carrie. Yeah, I love Carrie. Which is cool. And of course, strip punch advertisement as always. Mm -hmm. New pop culture designs every 24 hours. That's crazy to have to put a new shirt out every 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's everything. I uh, will get some up close shots of the box. Yeah, another good crate yeah. made from Horror Block. Always a nice variety of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Freddy Krueger fan, you know, diehard Freddy Krueger fan, uh, obviously. Yeah, really the like shirts this. are good. <laughs> the plushie's great. She gets yeah. the plus, you gotta get the shirt. But. Yeah, it's really cute. I really like the print this month as well. Um, it seems like a common theme that they include um, some kind of a print each month, and that, that was a really good one. It's really cool. So that was our massive December uh, monthly subscription box unboxing. Um, it was really fun. Got to get a little taste of everything this month. Um, we've got a lot of January's boxes here, um, so we'll get those knocked out here soon too. But we're excited to 
the Rogues and Rebels 2.0. We still have to put Mass Effect up and the Fallout crate. Um, but yes. we will get caught up sooner or later. Yes. <laughs> Thanks as always for taking the time to watch. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, yep. We'll see you in January. Until then, stay weird. Bye. Bye.